right guys we're here at bridgeport speedway in new jersey beautiful day uh great not many clouds in the sky as you can see about mid 70s good car count 33 cars we got larson bell bowman some pa guys uh, a couple all-star guys so it's a great field of cars place we struggled at last year a little bit so excited to come here and try to conquer this place uh, it's a great facility it's wide it gets slick and pretty racy so uh, see what we could do i think last year we finished 11th so hopefully we could qualify good get into the dash and uh go from there try to get a win so i uh, went to philadelphia today for lunch went to a pizza place called angelo's that was very good um that i gave that like probably 8.3 8.4 very solid stuff and uh came back here and uh getting ready to race guys so we're about to put heat in the motor we'll talk to you guys after night's over and uh hopefully it's a good one thank you peace to hit the speedway from Watertown, Connecticut in the Houston Speedway Billion Automotive Jackson Motorplex High Performance Lubricants JRC Transportation, number two, David Gravel. David Gravel in car number two. The 11th place run here last year, third in 2019. His best of two Automotive All Stars at Bridgeport. Last one for David Gravel was ninth quick at a 15 at 334-15334. Gravel is a two-time feature winner this season with the 11 top five finishes, currently second in the series point standing. Second last time for David Gravel is second quick at a 15-055. 055 David Gravel now second fastest in my place hotels qualifying top five go to the feature we are green racing into turn one David Gravel the early race leader out in the final transfer spot and John Brentflick coming after him in car number 4B Four laps down, four laps to go. All David Gravel in front by nearly two seconds over James McFadden. Casey Kane running third for 4B. TJ Green to the inside of Noah Gaston to make this pass for the seventh position. Checkered flag now ready to wave on this one. David Gravel controls from start to finish, gets the win. Here's the way they finish this evening's third heat race. David Gravel getting the win in car number two. Second went to the 83 of James McFadden. In third, the number nine of Casey Kane. Fourth to the 91 of Kyle Reinhardt. And in fifth, it was the number six of Bill Rose. Those five drivers qualify for the feature. Trust me, I did it this morning. It was rough. David, <laughs> David reaches in for the seven. <laughs> Sorry, I know. I know that's not what you wanted, but your last six races, you've been very consistent finishing between fifth and seventh, so that's always a good thing. How have you and your team been able to achieve that kind of consistency, especially as the points battle's heating up? Drawing like that every night. That's why I run five through seven. Uh, man, that's frustrating, but uh, we keep putting ourselves in position, just not able to capitalize. So um, hopefully we get to pass a few cars here, but... Uh, Hopefully the rubber stays away for a little while, just long enough to pass some cars. Well, you're in a good spot to build from. Good luck. Thanks. Field of the green flag. Into turn one, Sheldon Hodgson on the bottom, Johnny Shots on the top, Shots has momentum, rockets around, grabs the race lead. Sheldon Hodgson second, side by side for third, Kyle Larson has it, he's challenged on the bottom in three and four by the 83 of James McFadden. McFadden trying to take the third spot from Larson, can't make it happen. Johnny Shots leading, Sheldon Hodgson in second, McFadden again down low and one and two, pulls even with Kyle Larson, can't make the pass for third. David Gravel trying to advance from the seventh starting spot, he runs seventh at the moment, challenging the one S of Logan Shuhart. Can't make the pass, rolling out of turn number four. Next time by halfway home, we'll have three laps down and three laps remaining. Rico Avery to the inside of James McFadden. Rico takes the fourth spot now as they enter turn three and four. McFadden coming back at Avery down the front straightaway. Jay back to the inside. Slide job for McFadden. Avery trying to turn back underneath him. Logan Shuart right behind that duo. Two laps to go, but the action is back for the fourth spot. Three cars duking it out there. Rico Avery back by Logan Shuhart to reclaim fifth.
right, guys, Bridgeport is over. Uh, it seems like we qualify uh, good enough for getting a dash and uh, can't show results for it, but uh, we were able to qualify third overall, win our heat race. Um, we drew a number seven in the dash. That's my third in a row, drawing the last row in the dash. That's getting really annoying. Uh, started seventh, um, kind of rode in seventh the whole race, and then got passed by some guys. Um, I think we finished 10th or 11th, to my knowledge. I think we got passed by Jacob at the end, based in, and Macri. So I think we finished 10th, but I'm not sure. 10th or 11th, not what we wanted, we went backwards. Um, the track took rubber early in the night. Uh, they had to rework it a couple times and they finally reworked it good enough in the future where it was just about taking rubber there at the end and uh, finished where we did, guys. So um, we're gonna keep working, uh, not what we want. We should be taking advantage of this when the other guys were racing and points aren't running good either, but uh, we haven't capitalized yet. So we're gonna keep working, guys, keep getting after it. and. Uh, We'll see you guys Friday at uh, Attica and then Saturday at Sharon. Thank you guys. Talk to you later. Ring the bell for notifications. Give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe and check out shopdgr.com. Peace out.